Good morning. Today we celebrate the memorial of St. Elizabeth Ann Seda, who's drawn an entrance antiphon. Behold, a wise woman who has built her house, she feared the Lord and walked in the right path. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. Let us take a moment to call to mind our sin. Lord Jesus, your mighty God and Prince of Peace, Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you're the Son of God and Son of Mary, Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you're a word made flesh and splendor of the Father, Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who crowned the gift of true faith, St. Elizabeth and Seton's burning zeal to find you, grant by her intercession an example that we may always seek you with diligent love and find you in daily service with sincere faith through Christ our Lord. A reading from the first letter of St. Saint John. <coughs> Children, let no one deceive you. The person who acts in righteousness is righteous, just as he is righteous. Whoever sins belongs to the devil. Because the devil has sinned from the beginning, indeed, no son of God was revealed to destroy the works of the devil. No, no one who is begotten by God commits sin because God's seeds remain in him. He, he cannot sin because he is begotten by God. In this way, the children of God and the children of the devil are made plain. No one who fails to act in righteousness belongs to God nor anyone who does not love his brother. The word of the Lord. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for him, his holy arm. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. Let the sea and what fills it resound the world and those who dwell in it. Let the rivers clamp their hands, the mountains shout with them for the joy before the Lord. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. The Lord comes, he comes to rule the earth. He will rule the world with justice and the peoples with equity. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. <coughs> hallelujah, hallelujah. In the past, God spoke to our ancestors through the prophets. In these last days, he has spoken to us through the Son. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. Our reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. John was standing with two of his disciples. And as he watched Jesus walk by, he said, Behold the Lamb of God. The two disciples heard what he said and followed Jesus. Jesus turned and saw them following him and said to them, What are you looking for? They said to him, Rabbi, where are you staying? He said to them, Come and you will see. So they went and saw where he was staying, and they stayed with him that day. It was about four in the afternoon. Andrew, the brother of Simon Peter, was one of the two who heard John and followed Jesus. 
he first found his own brother Simon and told him, We have found the Messiah, which is translated Christ. Then he brought him to Jesus. Jesus looked at him and said, You are Simon, the son of John. You will be called Cephas, which is translated Peter. The Gospel of the Lord. Today we celebrate the memorial of St. Elizabeth Ann Seton. St. Elizabeth Ann Seton is the first um, American born, um, person born in America, in the United States of America, that became a saint. Can I say in the Catholic Church? Um, Elizabeth um, was born two years prior to the American Revolutionary War into the upper class of um, New York society, and she had married a wealthy businessman and she had a very idyllic life first couple years of marriage she had a great um, love for reading read many um, literatures and novels and also was an avid um, devoted reader of the of the Bible but then she experienced great loss in the coming years of her life um, her father-in-law would pass and then um, her husband would also pass and his own um, business would go bankrupt and so they had moved um, to Italy when her husband had tuberculosis to try to um, receive treatment there. They ultimately passed away in Italy. Um, so Elizabeth experienced this great you know, loss of um, life. Her mother had passed at an early age and great um, you know, distance from her relationships when she had to move to Italy for her husband's medical treatment. While she was in Italy, um, her faith deepened um, due to the losses that she had encountered in life, and she um, converted to Catholicism. She was instructed in Catholicism and received into the church um, in Italy. Having lost her mother at an early age, she found a great affinity for Mary um, as her own mother. And so having returned um, to America, back to Baltimore, um, she had opened a school there, and once she became Catholic, she got with some other people and turned it into a free Catholic school. And so St. Elizabeth Ann Seton had opened um, the first free Catholic school in America. And she go to go on to open other schools and orphanages. Um, six different religious communities um, are founded um, in their origin from St. Elizabeth Ann Seton. She's a patron saint of education and the Catholic school system here in America. Um, St. Elizabeth Van Seton had a great devotion um, to the Eucharist, um, to the Bible, and to the Blessed Mother. As we celebrate um, a season of Eucharistic renewal here in our local Catholic Church of America, um, St. Elizabeth Van Seton is a wonderful um, patron for us um, to strengthen our devotion um, to that bread of life. St. Elizabeth is also um, a patron saint of, of in-laws and of families, but she had a great love um, for her family. So we can also turn to her um, to intercede um, for our families. And so once again, St. Elizabeth just reminds us of the gift of um, education. And the Catholic Church had such a you know, profound um, you know, mark here in America in the early years um, you know, for education, you know, medical health care. You know, so many of these service industries you know, were began by religious and sisters um, you know, here in America and would later on you know, to go to be privatized and secularized. While we don't see you know, many religious um, today, you know, it's important to remember the heritage um, that they left us and the great impact they had on the founding of our country. And you know, let's also continue to um, pray for religious, um, that we would see a, a resurgence in religious. And we're blessed in our diocese to celebrate the um, solemn profession of vows of Saint I mean, of um, Sister Katerina, the poor friars of Jesus and Mary in Homa with Archbishop Fob on this past Sunday. And, um, you know, it's really one of the, um, you know, one of the religious communities that we have in our diocese is the um, poor friars of Jesus and Mary um, located in Homa. And, um, you know, this is their first American person to take solemn vows with their community. Um, her name was Allison Kurtz. She was a um, graduate of Vanderbilt, and she's been, um, you know, with the community, had done temporary and 
vows and now took um, solemn vows. So it's wonderful to see um, one of our own, you know, um, you know, wearing the habit and um, you know, fully committing to religious life. Let us continue to pray um, for an increase in vocations um, to the priesthood and religious life in our diocese. As those invited to follow Jesus, let us offer our prayers. For Christians everywhere, for all who find in Jesus their teacher and savior, we pray to the Lord. For ordained and lay ministers, for all who lead others to the Messiah, we pray to the Lord. For spiritual directors and pastoral counselors, for all who point the way to the presence of Christ, we pray to the Lord. For increase in the gift of vocations to the priesthood and religious life in our diocese, we pray to the Lord. God of our journey, your anointed one beckons us to come and see, and in his presence we find you. Give us courage to follow Jesus' way and faithful companions to accompany us that may lead us to our teacher and Lord, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Bless the Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, and become for us the bread of life. Bless the Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, and become our spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O oh Lord, we ask that you look graciously upon our gifts placed on the altar in celebration of St. Elizabeth Ann Seton, grant by the power at work in this sacrifice, you may be more deeply inserted into the mystery of your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For through him the holy exchange that restores our life has shown forth today in splendor. When our frailty is assumed by your word, not only does human mortality receive unending honor, but by this wondrous union we too are made eternal. And so in company of the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim, Holy.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon the might that do fall. So may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which we poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that it held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ and be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and all the clergy, remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. Have the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints, St. Elizabeth Ann Seton, we have pleased you throughout the ages. We merit to be co heirs to eternal life. May praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let's offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that they should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
for me an antiphon. I am the living bread from heaven, says the Lord. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. The bread I shall give is my flesh for the life of the world. Let us pray. As we partake of the sacrament of our salvation while recalling the memory of St. Elizabeth Van Seden, we humbly ask you, O Lord, that we may be inflamed with the burning desire for the heavenly table, and by its power consecrate our life faithfully to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And Almighty God, bless you in the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Go in peace. Please join me in the prayer of St. Joseph. To you, O blessed Joseph, we have recourse in our affliction, and having implored the help of your most holy spouse, we now with hearts filled with confidence, earnestly beg you to take us under your protection, through that sacred bond of charity which united you to the Immaculate Virgin Mother of God, and by that fatherly love which you embrace the child Jesus. We humbly beg you to look graciously upon the beloved inheritance which Jesus Christ purchased by his blood, and to aid us in our necessities with your power and strength. Defend our most watchful guardian of the Holy Family, the chosen children of Jesus Christ. Keep from us a most loving Father, all blight of error and corruption. Aid us from one high, most valiant defender in this conflict with the powers of darkness. Just as you once saved the child Jesus from mortal danger, so now defend God's holy church from the snares of the enemy from all adversity. Shield us by your constant protection, so supported by your example and strengthened by your help, may be able to live a virtuous life, die a happy death, 
and obtain everlasting bliss in heaven. Amen. St. Michael, 